What is going on guys, iBlue back with a brand new video and today we're doing episode 3 of the Minecraft Survival Guide. Today we're going to explain how to create a good farm, get a good source of food, because I feel like we did it last time but we didn't do it really well. And then uh, we'll figure something out. I, we'll, we'll just try to it, just kind of bring it all together full circle and, and give ourselves a good, a good start to our, our food source of the world. So let's get into it. This is how to farm. You need to know this because you'll die if you don't. So the last time that we were here, uh, we were actually using this little place over here to 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 hold our stuff. I don't want to do this anymore. I want I, I don't mind the sugar cane being here. I really don't. But I really want to have our farm closer to us. So let's take this and we'll get rid of that. Uh, we'll keep the sugar cane there, and and we're gonna come over this way, all the way over this way, and we're gonna start planting stuff over here. Uh, now, I don't know if I explained it in this video yet or not, but the way you can farm is uh, not only can you get food sources from, you know, uh, berries and stuff like that, which grow very fast. I already have a stack and I've only been on for about 10 minutes. But uh, when you're making a farm, if you place a bucket of water or if you have a water source, four blocks in each direction can be uh, tilled or uh, whatever you call it with the hoe. Uh, yeah, you can plant things and it'll be, uh, saturated with water, uh, and, and it'll flourish. It'll give you a high yield or the fastest yield of, of, of wheat. So I'm thinking we take out a few trees over here. We fill in this right here and this could be our little farming area. Not only do I want to have, uh, wheat and potatoes and carrots and beetroot and, and everything like that, I want to get cows this episode. Uh, cows would be absolutely incredible. Next episode is going to be our exploring episode, so that's when we can find all of our other vegetables and stuff. But right now, we really need cows, so let's fill in that little spot. We're probably going to need another axe, too, honestly. <laughs> okay, so we have that all taken care of. Let's start our little farm. So I was thinking we could have a little path that comes off of here, and we could have our farm over this way. Um, and then this will be our big farm area, but for now we only need something simple We'll throw down a water bucket and we need a hoe. Uh oh, okay So then we can till uh, eight places in each direction I'm just gonna get it done now one two three four or four places in each direction. I mean There we go, and then I'm just gonna get this all tilled out There we go, and this is gonna be the most efficient farm actually now it's gonna be the most efficient farm having uh, having a light source there really does help. Uh, it helps your crops grow. It makes them flourish. Uh, and let's make a little bit of an extra little path here going down. Hey, there we go. Cool. Um, so there we go. And then that's fine, I guess. There we go. Okay, so let's start planting our stuff. So we're going to want to put our wheat down. Uh, we don't really have anything else that we can put down right now. But once we get... Uh, carrots, potatoes, beetroot, uh, we'll put all that there, uh, I mean, watermelon, stuff like that. I mean, we could put down a couple pumpkins, but I don't really need them right now. Um, <clears throat> but we will use the wheat. And then our goal is to use this, uh, or sort of the seeds, uh, but we're gonna use the wheat. Um, hmm. Why? Hmm. I actually don't, maybe I jumped on them? Anyway, um. This also needs to go, because that one's too... There we go. Okay, so... Actually, let's go this way, and we're gonna go see if we can find ourselves some cows. Alright, I see one. Can we find another? That would be incredible. So we have one cow. Uh, we just need one more, so we can breed them. Oh, is this a plains biome? <gasps> it is. That's actually really good. Um, but I need another cow. Uh, so that's one. At least we have one. There should be two. I seen two over here. They need to make it so they move faster in water. This is driving me nuts. <laughs> also, can we talk about how last night everybody was playing Rust? 50 of the biggest streamers playing Rust. I mean, Pokimane, Saikuno. Um, if you've been watching my channel for quite some time, you know that I love Rust. I, I, I love Rust. I love... League of Legends, uh, MapleStory, Minecraft. There's a ton of games that I like. But Rust is one of those games that is just like really niche. Not a lot of people play them, but the people that do are like in love with the game. Uh, so it was really, really cool to see like Ludwig and, and Pokimane and Boozley and all the OTV crowd 
on top of Shroud and and Myth and all these huge streamers, Valkyrie, uh, play Rust, which is like my favorite game. So it will, it's a definitely a top five for me. Which it was just really fun. It's just really cool to see something that you love that's not that big of a thing. Um, like they were helping the Rust community by doing that. It wasn't doing anything anything for them. I mean, maybe the like camaraderie and collaboration of it was helping them but like really it wasn't helping that much um so i i think that's really cool so when you get your cows over to your house like i did uh and you want to make yourself a little spot for them uh you're pretty much just going to where do i want to put them i guess i can put them right here um but i'd have to get rid of these trees i need to get rid of these trees so funny story while i'm destroying these trees uh i will actually uh, first off i hope you all had a really good christmas um i know stardew valley came out on christmas day or boxing day or whenever it was um sorry for not saying merry christmas but i filmed it days in advance so that's why i didn't say merry christmas um but happy holidays merry christmas whatever you celebrate um but yeah yeah so like what i was gonna say is that if you see the different color in the background you can see purple here and blue here uh that is actually because i already have one floodlight but my girlfriend gave me another floodlight for christmas uh but she also gave me a uh, funny story she gave me this decal uh on christmas eve to put on my setup so i could record which i didn't even record i'll be honest um but she gave me this decal it's my logo which is really thoughtful and it, it really does like kind of cover the wall a bit because it's a really plain wall so i really like how it looks but uh my parents actually got me an, a decal as well um for christmas so I, I don't really know what i'm gonna do with it i have uh two decals now two logos uh the exact same thing but uh the one that my parents got was a bigger one um so i i, I think i'm gonna start a podcast and I might have that as the background to the podcast, but I just find it like weird, you know, like it just seems like I'm like self conceited or whatever. I, I just, or like, I don't know. I, I just think it's like weird. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I just find it a little bit odd that, you know, I would have my face in the background of a podcast. I think it would just be a little off, but like, that's fine. I mean, whatever. I'm sure no one will care, but that's just, you know, my, my point of view, but uh, either way, let's get these cows in here. Um, we finally have some good, uh, some good foods and good eats going. So let's get them in here. I'm just going to torch around so we, we don't die to mobs. Um, let's see, where did they go? Uh oh, that could be a problem. I, I may have lost, um, I may have lost our cows. I'm going to be honest. Also, while we're looking for the cows, I, yo, bro, I'm going to be honest. I'm up and it's 845 right now. Listen. Oh, look, I found one. Okay. Since I've, uh, since I've been in engineering, I've been really good with getting up early. Okay. Like I, I really have, but uh, when coronavirus hit and, and everything got, I can't find the other cow and everything got shut down. Uh, I think it was like May or something for me. It was like May 20th or something since that day that everything got shut down and we went fully online in school. I haven't w woken up before nine or 10 o'clock because every class I've had has been at least like 10 o'clock or later. Right. So, and you know, uh, classes are recorded. So it was really difficult to wake up for like 10 o'clock, you know, if you stayed up till three or four in the morning. Um, so I would just watch the lectures and I would, instead of being done class at four, I would be, Ooh, I think I found one. Oh no, that's a sheep. Um, I'll be, I would like finish watching my recorded classes at by like seven, but like I, that worked better for me. Right. So it's like, whatever works better for you, as long as you learn. I mean, I got through my semester, I did well, so it's whatever. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, um, we're still looking for this cow. Uh, but yeah, so like I, I've been waking up like really late, like especially Christmas or uh, like holidays in the holidays, like right now. I've been really bad. I've been waking up at like 11 or 12, 1230. And that's like not okay with me. Like I don't, I don't want to wake up that late. Um, so I took it upon myself last night to go to bed really early to try to get on a better sleep schedule. I got in bed around 10 o'clock, like 930, 10 o'clock. I know for some people it's probably not that late, but for me, nine, 10 o'clock is like going to bed at 6 PM. Like I, I like, bro, I don't go to like, I don't go to bed that early. I have a friend. Actually, you guys have seen him before if you've been watching the channel. Jake uh, or Drez, he's he's on our SMP Minecraft server. Um, yeah, he, he goes to bed at like 9, 10 o'clock every night, and I don't know how he does it. 
but man, I might start doing it too. Honestly, I, I did it last night and it felt absolutely incredible. Uh, I woke up at six, uh, six, six thirty, and man, I am like, I've been up. I had, a, I, I'm drinking my coffee. I, I'm just really enjoying the whole wake up early life. Uh, it, it's been incredible. Uh, like this, literally, the last three or four hours have felt incredible. Um, uh, the only thing I didn't do was shower. Usually, a shower in the mornings, but I, I, I don't know. I just feel really good. So if you guys want to hit up the schedule with me, it's probably a good idea. Plus, uh, my school is a strictly engineering school, so um. We don't have like a lot of students. We only have engineering students. Uh, therefore, we can actually go back to physical school uh, in January, which is great. Um, so I'm actually going back to physical school. So I got to wake up at like 8 a.m. or like 7 a.m. again to be there for like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Um, so I kind of want to get myself on a good schedule anyway. Oh, look, another cow. OK, we're just going to steal that one because I literally can't find our cow unless he came all the way over this way. Um uh, but yeah, so anyway, that's long story short. I, I'm on a really good sleepy schedule and it feels incredible. So you guys should do it too. Um, and if you don't want to, I really don't care. But if you do tweet me and say like, yo, I'm awake at 6 a.m. because of you, like get hype because that would be really cool. I'd like to see, I, you know, all I'm trying to do is make a change in people's lives. They're not really like, I don't know if I if I can make one person happy, hey, it was worth making the content. Anyway, I don't know why I told you guys that story, but. Anyway, I'm up early. If that's why my voice sounds a little bit off, or I look tired, or I'm yawning, okay, yeah, great timing. Uh, it's because uh, I woke up at 6 a.m., and I'm not used to that. So, um, okay, let's get this cow in here, and we're going to keep going with our farming journey here. Uh, let's get them in here. We can't breed them yet, unfortunately, because uh, we don't have enough stuffs, but I think we do. We've been shearing sheep, so we may actually have enough stuff to make a carpet. So this is a how-to, right? This is a how-to series. So there's going to be little things that I run through that you guys are going to have to catch while watching. This is one of those things. I just made carpet, and you can pause it to figure out how to make it. But if you put carpet like this on your, uh, on, ooh, not like that, on your fences, you can actually jump in and out. You don't need a fence gate. It makes it 10 times easier, and there you go. There we go. You don't have to worry about them running away or... Or anything like that. This is the worst food source ever, and I can't wait to get some cows going. Plus, I do understand there's a micro cow farm, but personally, I really don't like the yield you get from micro cow farms. I find it's really not that great. Um, I actually like having a full, like, a blocked farm of cows, and when you get a looting three sword, which we'll explain in a further episode, and a, a fire aspect sword, it actually cooks the food for you, uh, and you'll get a ton more food than you will with the. Uh, with the micro cow farm which if you want to know more about micro cow farms watch my farming tips video because it actually explains everything but okay now what's next i mean other than that i know it's a short video but i kind of just explained farming in a nutshell it's really easy there's nothing really extra that you need to do for farming so i mean honestly i think this is it for the episode i i really don't have anything else to say i told you a couple stories I just wanted to say hi, it's Boxing Day, I'm going to go to the stores right now uh, for the Boxing Day sales and such to try to use some of the gift cards they got for Christmas and stuff. But guys, I think this is literally it. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, actually, let's go full screen. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I mean, I, I really do heavily appreciate it. I, you guys have been absolutely incredible. We're coming up on 250 subscribers. If you're watching this video right now, go to the comment section and ask me questions because I'm going to do, I have them logged. I'm doing a Q&A for our 250 subscriber special. You don't understand how appreciative I am uh, with all the new new subscribers and the people commenting and, and leaving a like on the video and a dislike on the video if you don't like it. But I haven't gotten a dislike in a while, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but again, thank you, thank you so much. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see you in the next one. Uh, this has just been the farming episode, and I, I mean, I, I don't really know what else to say. I don't, I don't like plugging my stuff. But if you want to come to Discord, uh, I've been talking in Discord recently. We've been, we've been having a good community there. So if you want to come by, drop on by. But we'll see you guys in two days. My new upload schedule is every two days. Everybody's doing every two days, and it seems to work. So I'm doing every two days. So we'll see you guys in two days. Thank you for watching the video. Sorry, it was a short one, but. That's all you can do sometimes, you know, there's not much more you can do about farming. Uh, so, yeah, I hope that helped. And at least maybe you'll get a good food source going. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one. And.
Peace.